Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's uh, webinar. I hope everyone is doing well and you are ready to get some knowledge, some wider knowledge about the gold, about the silver, the US dollar index, and how can we put it together uh, with, uh, with the current events here, the inflation mainly. So I'll just give a few more seconds. Some people, uh, I see they're trying to join, so we can uh, give some, some time as well. I would like to, to see if you, if you don't mind, uh, just to get to know each other a bit, uh, just a while. Can you type uh, from which country you are participating, please? Uh, that will be interesting. It's just just to become a bit more familiar with with you guys. That's all. You can type on the chat. Maybe I'm from X Y Z country. Uh, if you want to type, if you are new in trading or for how much time you're trading so far, that. That will be also cool. If you don't want to share the information, it's absolutely fine. So uh, please, please feel free to type anything you would like to ask on the chat box. Uh, before we start, I would like to walk you through uh, let's make sure that you are watching the relevant screen. Yep. I watch you through our social media channel, guys. This is the YouTube channel. Uh, here we post everything in regards to the videos. Uh, I do live trading events on a daily basis. Monday to Friday, 7.30 a.m. GMT time, London time. Uh, you are, if you are, haven't watched them dead, you are more than welcome to, to join us. Uh, you can find the recordings here as well. Also, all the videos we, we do in terms of education webinars, like this one today, we post them here at Trading Spotlight. So you can uh, refer back to any video at any, any time you wish. Then we have the Admirals global Instagram channel. And I definitely encourage you to follow us on the Instagram. We put on a daily basis, uh, stories, reels about trading, about investing, some analysis, so you can use them as an investment ideas. Uh, I do on Thursday morning, the 30 seconds markets update I will I go through the major news events for the week. So I narrow it down all the information for you. I make much, much easier when it comes to go through and read the news. So it can help you a lot. And the last one I will recommend you to follow us on is the, uh, the Telegram channel. Uh, anytime we're about to go live, we put it here as well. So make sure you never miss any, any live. Also about uh, stock market analysis, uh, Forex market analysis, uh, weekly podcast, everything, everything goes here. So you really get the information uh, about all the content is used to our uh, website. So I will definitely encourage you. You can see here on the chat, uh, the YouTube, Instagram, and, uh, and Telegram channel. Please make sure you subscribe to all of them. So let's start our uh, webinar for today. Now, what do we have First is uh, the disclaimer, as you can see, 
just to make sure that this webinar you understand it's for general information it doesn't intend to give any personal and any financial advice to nobody when you participate in the market you calculate your your risk and you decide whether or or not it's appropriate for you to take that trade or that recommendation it doesn't intend to force anyone to trade and that's very clear so currently we we are living with this uh with this subject in our daily life and always guys when i bring content out to you i make sure that you understand it in your daily life and it's not that something we're gonna just say here for um, just to say it okay something that it can also help you to understand to be more um cautious to how these things around work especially and now with the inflation we're going to focus mainly on the gold and silver today uh, we're going to do intense chart analysis and also by doing the chart analysis uh, i will refer to the no the the constant analysis i do for the markets on a daily basis so it's an opportunity for you to get more familiar with this type of analysis. The next one, just a few words about our company. Definitely you, you know that we are a Forex and CFD broker. We, we, we allow more than 8,000 instruments to be traded. Uh, regardless in which country you, you live, what uh, language you speak, we make sure we have uh, one of the, the best customer support service for you guys. 24 seven to assist you and help you. We have license from many uh, reputable financial of countries license. And uh, among them are the SISEG in Cyprus, the FCA in England, the EFSA in, um, in Estonia, and of course the ASIC in Australia. The spreads, we make sure we keep them as low as minimal so you can take advantage with your intraday trading, if you are an intraday trader, and of course with your higher time frame trading. And you can use the MetaTrader platform to trade uh, with our product. Now, for those who haven't downloaded yet, the MetaTrader platform, uh, it's not available on the App Store, and I will highly encourage you to download our native app, the Admirals mobile application. To be honest, I use it a lot. I It helps me on my daily market watch and, and everything. It's very, very users-friendly uh, application. And also, if you have the MetaTrader on your uh, mobile device, you can definitely download it and, and play around and see how you, how you feel. Okay, it's, it's really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Now we have a promotion in regards to spread. Uh, we reduce some major indices and uh, currencies uh, about 20 to 30 percent down the spread. So you can definitely take advantage for that as well and as i mentioned all the channels for the social media now for those who haven't uh, have the chance to watch me live on the on the trading in the morning my name is theo i born and grow up in in cyprus in the island of cyprus the last 10 years i went to australia and i was living there uh, that's where i start my trading career uh, I hold a master degree in physics. I like investing a lot. I'm a long-term investor. When it comes to tech uh, stocks, I like to buy and hold for the long run. Uh, and whatever also stocks interest me on NASDAQ and, and they're from S&P as well. I look at them. 
on the digital currencies. I have extensive knowledge. And uh, when it comes to trading, I'm either a swing trader on the daily chart or a very fast time frame on the one minute and five minute charts, mostly on the one minute. Uh, but that's, I have total specific rules, specific currency pairs, specific times I trade them. It's something very with, with uh, enormous amount of discipline. Uh, that's why it's not my main focus, the, the intraday, it's the swing trading, my main focus. And here at Admirals, I'm uh, an educator and uh, an analyst. So as for today, we're going to talk about gold and silver, about their correlation, and also on the, the correlation they do have with the dollar index. Also, we're going to do, of course, chat analysis, excuse me, on gold and on silver. Ramo, Remo asks, can I invest stock, as you said, but on MT4 or MT5? Yes, Ramo, definitely. We offer uh, stock investing. However, you have to log into your Admiral account and there is an option to open an investing account. So you can definitely uh, do it. I have an investment account as well here at Admirals and I invest with that account. And the good thing, as you mentioned it, I will just go through. The very good thing in the investment account is that it doesn't allow you to place sell orders. So if you you cannot speculate bets on the price like we do on trading, uh, you can, let's say now that gold is on 1700 and I want to go short. And when it goes on 1600, I'm going to make that big fat profit, let's say. Okay, when we use our investment accounts, we only... Uh, allowed it to go long and to buy. So you can hold it for as long as you want the, the stocks. You don't pay any swaps. You don't pay any monthly fees or weekly or daily fees. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. And it's really good. The uh, It's minimal commissions as well. And I highly, highly recommend it. So go for that uh, and, and check if that's appropriate for you. John, will this be available on YouTube later? Yeah, definitely, John. I think tomorrow the team will put it on. I don't think so right after we finish, okay? So definitely. Promise Henry, I'm also interested in investing account, but how does this work? Oh my God. So guys, the next, uh, the next thing I will put in my head right now is to start maybe some webinars about investing or at least to create some tutorials and put them on the on, on our YouTube channel um, and explain you how can you download the platform or how can you know that, okay, you know how to download the platform. Uh, how can you uh, invest, what orders to use and, um, and this. I think that will be cool for, for everyone, right? If you like that idea, please uh, let me know. Or if you want at the end, when we finish the webinar, you have the option to leave us a comment. And if you would like something in regards to investing, I will encourage you so the whole team can read your comments and we can put it for implementation in the very near future. Okay, Henry, that's awesome. You have a platform ready, register and verify. Fantastic. So. Please try it, and uh, and as I said, I can create some tutorials about that. So, as you notice, always before I start the the session, I always like to dedicate a few minutes and just go through what did we learn in the previous webinar. In the previous webinar, guys, we talked about the oil, the WTI the crude oil and we said that the driver of the oil is uh, is supply and demand so it's the commodities they based on supply and demand and uh, 
in my opinion, unfortunately, some traders, they totally confuse the areas of support resistant with the meaning, the actual meaning of supply and demand. Uh, supply and demand, it's a major thing that caused the price of oil and all the commodities, the gold, the silver, the end gas, uh, palladium and um, everything to, to move in one or other direction. Also, we said about the oil, we explained about the cost of extracting and producing the oil. It's also uh, an important factor for the price of oil. Uh, then we do have definitely the speculators who bet on price move, the hedgers who limit risk in the production or consumption, and um, doesn't necessarily mean they are traders like us. They speculate on the price move, but these guys, when they um, they want to extract and and sell the oil, maybe they, they do some kind of agreements in the future markets and they agree on the delivery, let's say to have a certain price, $70 per barrel. So if the price of oil at that stage in the market, it's $60 per barrel, they're going to get that advantage of the difference of $10 because they, uh, they make that contract in the, we call it in the future markets. Okay because they're gonna deliver later in time. On the other hand, if they lock uh, future contracts on the $70, and by the time they're gonna actually deliver the product, the price is let's say $100 per barrel, then they don't make that difference in the profit, of course, because they had locked in price. So the other part is gonna make the, gonna be benefited by the profit. Then we said that oil supply is controlled. Excuse me. <laughs> Some uh, what by a cartel of oil producing uh, nations, and that's the the, the well known OPEC. And we hear many open meetings. Uh, they are taking place. The organization, the cartel, it's a part of thirteen countries. You can read the countries uh, as I have them on the slide in front of you. <coughs> Excuse me for that, guys. And the oil demand is driven by everything use the product, like the gasoline, for vehicles, for planes, for machines, everything. So, and the last thing we we mentioned, we talked about our checklist, of course, how to enter the trade, because uh, I realized that many people, they know what to do, but they know how to execute, how to create some rules they can follow and uh, allow them to participate in the market. And I gave you what I use. Mainly, I use this on the daily time frame, so I do my analysis on the weekly, and I use the mainly daily time frames to enter the swing trading. However, if you are trading on the fifteen-minute chart, you can do this analysis. Let's say on the four-hour chart. Uh, I wouldn't say on the one-hour chart because it's very close by. So, four-hour chart that will be enough. You do your analysis and then you execute on the 15 minute chart. So where I, I say, uh, let's change the color, let's put the red, where I put weekly chart, that's my uh, time frame for analysis, yours, maybe that's the four hour chart. And where I said, I enter on the daily chart, maybe for you, you enter on the 15 minute chart and so on. Okay. If you are a one hour chart trader, you take entries there, then you definitely use the daily chart as your higher time frame and your lower time frame, it's the one hour chart. Then this apply for trending markets. It's a, we want to have a confluence of horizontal support or resistance. Of course, depends uh, if we are buying, we want to have a support. If we are selling, we want to have a resistance. 
then we want to see if it's in a line, the same level, if it matches with any retracement, Fibonacci retracement, golden ratio is preferable, 61.8% or even the 50%, it's fine. Then we want to check if we have a trend line support, if we are buying or resistant, if we are selling, or you can put a slash here, exponential moving average, same thing. And then we want to see a candlestick pattern like an engulfing, a pin bar, or even an inside bar because we are in a trending market. And we this, this parameter here will use us to use a tighter stop loss. So we have a higher reward to risk ratio. Okay, then the ranging market, we said ranging market is something like this. So we want to see a kind of double top and we would like to see a price action reversal here like bearish engulfing or bearish pin bar or if we from buying here we want to see a bullish engulfing or a bullish pin bar so it's simple as that you can uh, take a screenshot you can try it you can have it in front of you uh, you can use demo accounts and play around with that and see how it fits in your personality and you, you just take it from there any questions so far, guys? In the meantime, I will uh, find the MetaTrader platform. Here we are now. So let me change a color. So what color to use here? Let's put the blue one or the black one. Maybe it's better. Yeah, black is fine. Guys, can everyone see the MT5 platform? Is it okay? So if I start talking, at least I know that I don't talk to myself. <laughs> Remo has a question. What is the confirmation for the trending market? Is it the entry right after the engulfing candle? That's a very good question, Remo. I understand that you are trading at least for a while. And... Uh, most of the times, yes, but there are times that the market is very obvious and I put pending orders, uh, stop orders, actually, to get feel from the breakout of the candle, okay? Uh, but most of the time, say 80, 85%, yes, it's at the end of, uh, it's at the close of the engulfing candle, yeah. Uh, there are other times I... I do it also on, on the live webinars uh, where I put, if the engulfing, it's like this one here, if the engulfing, it's uh, very long, I place a limit order. If I want to go short, I place a sell limit order right at the 50% of the engulfing's total length. And I want to get filled in a much tighter area. That also works brilliant for my trading style. Again, this one here, most of the times it's more reliable on higher time frames and is less reliable on the lower time frames. Okay, if you are trading on 15 minute chart, you want to be with the momentum, you want to be in and out as fast as possible. So you don't have that privilege of uh, waiting for. Uh, some consolidation like we do on the daily charts. And the reason is on the daily charts, every price action, it's very, very reliable and it, and it takes a um, significant amount of effort to be broken to the one or the other side. That's why if we see change of structure there, we know that the trade is most likely it's not a fake out trade, a false break out. And it's a, most of the times it's a valid uh, change in the market environment. So this is a weekly chart and, and it's good Remo that you brought this up. That's a weekly chart of gold. That's a weekly chart of silver. That's a weekly chart of the US dollar. The idea here is to see when people, they, they put, especially on, on the internet, that there is a correlation, a good correlation between 
the US dollar and the gold. And unfortunately, the reason uh, I totally disagree at some extent, at, okay, at some extent I disagree, is that they are very, very correlated because they say that the gold and the silver, they priced in US dollar. Doesn't mean because they priced in the US dollar, when the US dollar loses value or gains value, this it's gonna, uh, it's gonna move accordingly. No, most of the times, this, especially gold and silver, as we said earlier, they are commodities and they move based on, mostly based on supply and demand. And also based on uh, the amount of effort, money and time they needed to be extracted from the ground. So if we see this example here, let me just clean a little bit. If we see this example here, the US dollar is moving to the downside, but the gold is just going sideways. The silver is moving to the upside at some extent. Then what do we see? We see that the US dollar is consolidating but the, the, sorry, the gold, sorry, I said gold and silver is the opposite. So the US dollar is consolidating here. Let's change the color. You know what better? I just draw some kind of box with a different color. So the US dollar here is consolidating, but the silver is pushing to the downside and the gold is pushing to the upside. Here it is just a few months later. So where is the correlation? Why do we have this? If the, if the fact that they priced both in US dollars, it gives them the correlation, uh, Any time the US dollar make a, a, a move, significant or not significant, they will get affected exactly opposite. But we don't see this happening. Okay, let's move on and I will explain you one of the most important reasons about that. Let's, let's check this now. The gold then moves to the upside and the US dollar at this point here, it moves to the upside and then it moves to the downside. The silver, it's just exploding to the upside. Okay, so we have this pattern of higher highs in gold and silver. Let's change the color. We have this higher high and here, the US dollar index, it has a double bottom. So we can understand that the US dollar is, the US dollar is doing a consolidation phase here. Most likely it's getting ready to change the phase and, uh, and to change direction and move from this range consolidation to the upside. And if these two markets, they were highly correlated with the US dollar in terms of direction, price action and all this stuff, then we should see the exact opposite move. But let's move one step ahead. US dollar makes this impulse move to the upside with minor swings to the downside, but gold is trading within this range the whole time. So it's trading between 1700 to let's say $2,000 per ounce. 
Silver, on the other hand, also make this uh, this move to this the sideways move, but it doesn't have that much uh, volatility and uh, fluctuation. So we don't see uh, that big difference in price. Okay, uh, so the the matter of fact is that. When the US dollar is creating an impulse move and it shows strength, we don't see the commodities necessarily moving the same exact way and losing so much value. Okay. As we said, they are, uh, they are prices because of supply and demand in the, in the industry. And this, reason, this fact makes them moving in a slightly different way, sometimes in a very different way than uh, the US dollar. Now, why is this happening? There are a few reasons about that. First, okay, let's, I think, let's change it to this color now. So first reason. Can you guys think why we, we don't see this correlation um, between, let's say, the gold, silver, and then the US dollar? Let's say the silver, it's X, uh, XAU, I think so, US dollar, something like that. XAU, US dollar. So when the US dollar goes down, the so the gold must go up and the silver must go up, right? Like we see with the currencies, let's say euro, US dollar. When the euro goes up, the US dollar has to go down and then we have that pair. But when it comes to commodities, that's not the case because the US dollar is the currency that is acceptable based on some uh, uh, 100 years ago, they make that deal that because the, the USA was the dominant political, pol geopolitical uh, power in the world at that stage, and they demanded that the US dollar, it's gonna be the main currency if any nation, any country would like to buy gold or silver or crude oil, palladium and everything. So in order to buy these commodities, you should use US dollar. And if you didn't have US dollar, guess what? You should go to the Feds, let's say, to the to the Reserve Bank of uh, America and just exchange your money, your currency to the US dollar currency. But 50, 40 years ago, uh, one of the US uh, a President Nixon, um, he took out the, the gold from the, he, he deducted that, that uh, relation between gold and US dollar. Like if you want to, let's say, print currency, you have to keep the equivalent amount of gold in your reserve. So slowly, slowly, they start printing uh, quantities of, of currency. And today they are printing unlimited amount of currency. And not only the United States of America, but also the European Central Bank and uh, the Reserve Bank of Australia, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, all the major banks to support their nations, they are printing uh, whenever they want. Maybe every week they are printing millions and billions of their currency. So these, uh, then we go back to the correlation, okay, because it's very extens uh, extensive subject that one i don't want to take you all the way there we can talk for hours and hours but let's not deviate from this subject so what happening now with the gold and the us dollar 
as they print unlimited amount of, uh, of currency of US dollar notes, and they don't need to bag it with the gold, this correlation, it starts some um, many years ago and it start deviated more and more and more and more. So, uh, and if you go to, let's say, a website, you can Google correlations uh, between currencies and all this stuff. And if you try to put the gold with the US dollar, you're going to be surprised that different time frames, they're going to show you different correlation with the US dollar. Maybe the five minute chart, it's going to show you 90% correlation. I haven't checked it. Okay. Uh, but the daily chart, maybe it's going to show you. 75, 80% correlation. And then you're wondering, why is that? Why is, what's going on? Uh, maybe the correlation, it's basically based on the, specula on the speculative part of, uh, of the trading, okay? But in reality, in actual reality, the fact that they print uh, so, so much quantity of their currencies, let's say in America, it doesn't mean that the, the gold price, it's going to change um, at the same time. Why? Because they don't use the gold to print money. If they were using the gold to print money, then the correlation should be more than 95% to 98% accurate. Do you agree, guys? Do you see the pattern just a little bit? I'm trying to explain them as simple as possible with, uh, with many simple words to make sure it's clear to everyone. So as traders, and as investors, if we want to, but okay, let's talk about as traders first. If we want to speculate, because that's our job to speculate in the market. And I see it on, on the morning webinars, people, they ask me, ah, why don't you analyzing the US dollar index? I talk about gold, WTI and all this stuff. And uh, why don't you analyze it all the time, the US dollar index? Because at some extent, uh, for our trading purpose, we don't see any correlation. Okay. And what I mean by that, I mean that if we see this breakout here and we go back to, uh, let's say, to the gold, the gold here shows some type of consolidation. So if I see that the market is uh, on the US dollar index, is giving me a buy signal and I want to use it in the gold market, then if I enter short right at that time, I will be caught on a very bad trade because the market went uh, fluctuate just sideways. And if I had a tighted stop, which as, as uh, price action traders, we definitely need to use tighter stops. That's why we do price action analysis. So if I was entering here, my stop was there, the market will flush me out and I will be in a losing trade. I'm not saying we're not going to have losing trades, but I'm just saying that we have to understand where is high probability entries and where are not. So uh, for silver, that example, that specific example, it, it worked at some extent better. So if we blindly follow the US dollar as the leading indicator and we don't understand that uh, it, the market's now changed with this uh, relationship, then uh, many times we're going to get caught in really, really bad trades, in trades that we really don't wish to, to participate. Okay. Or another example, it was, I think, something here, an impulse move from the US dollar and the silver just move uh, just a little bit, just uh, insignificant move. So it, it wasn't very um, beneficial to, to take this type of trade. All right. Uh, some questions, guys. Uh, Ramon, 
Yes, that's exactly, exactly spot on. That was about, uh, that was, I was about to say next. Remo uh, spotted very well. I believe he said that the US dollar index correlated with Euro USD much higher than gold and silver. And that's absolutely. And uh, the reason that the US dollar index is much higher correlated with the, the Euro US dollar, Euro USD, is because uh, the Euro US dollar as pair has the majority of the Forex uh, foreign exchange volume. So let's say about, I would say just 50%. So we, we don't play with numbers, maybe it's 45, maybe it's whatever. I just put random 50%. Uh, so the majority of the transactions, they will be reflected within this pair. That's why it's much more accurate if we use the US dollar index for the Euro USD pair. If you try, yes, John, does, does gold and silver correlated to Aussie since they export gold? Yes, we will go to that in a second. Now, if we try to see the Aussie, the AUD, USD, and we try to correlate it with the US dollar index, you will see much deviation uh, rather than correlation. And the reason is, again, the Australian dollar, it's a commodity currency, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, and the Canada, Canadian dollar. There are the three commodity currencies. So they are more sensitive to price movement based on demand and supply of commodities like the gold, like the silver, Canada is very sensitive, Canadian dollar very sensitive with the crude oil uh, supply and demand prices. So it in the bottom line is this, because uh, things they change in the market, in the nature, in the behavior of the market, when we want to trade, when, when we want to validate um, a signal with an index, we make sure that we're going to use the indexes, let's say, or vice versa, as filters rather than as accurate uh, signals to make our decision and trade on. Okay, so many times when I trade Euro US dollar, I definitely refer back to the US dollar index or vice versa. If I see a good, um, excuse me, a good chart pattern on the US dollar index or a good price action on the US dollar index, then I will definitely go to see the Euro USD, maybe the pound, the Swiss and, and the rest to see if I identified any, let's say if it's a, a signal that a bullish signal on the, on the dollar index, I will try to see a bearish signal on uh, Euro preferably. So if I see that because they have high correlation, I will definitely be more interested to take that type of trade. Okay, so back to John, does gold and silver correlate to the Aussie USD since they export gold? Yes, much more than the, uh, the US dollar index. And again, when we say much more or much less, uh, because again, we have this different of supply and demand zone uh, that make it a bit tricky. I'll give you an example. Let's say um, they're going to have gold. It's uh, like, let's say that gold just bounces here from this area of support. We see previously a double bottom. Now we see another rejection here and start gradually push to the upside. This bullish pin bar here on the weekly chart on the gold, if we go, let's say to the Euro US dollar or to the Australian dollar against the US dollar, and we see some bullish signal, 
then we definitely can weight it more as, as a valid signal and vice versa. If we see we are in a downtrend, let's say, we see this resistance and here it's a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern on the gold, we can have a look what's happening with the euro, what's happening with the rest, what's happening with the dollar index. Do I have any, uh, any sort of agreement between some price action? Maybe they are also sitting at the level uh, where they can potentially change direction like this one. So if I have some uh, levels of confluence and uh, like I like to call it the currency correlations and it's one of my trading methodologies as well, then I will definitely be more interested, as I said earlier, to participate in these markets. Okay. Guys, any other questions? Please let me know. So if you don't have any questions, it means that you understand perfectly what I'm saying. Wow. <laughs> okay. So guys, as I always like to, to say, keep your trading as simple as possible. Really as simple as possible. Uh, complexity, it's the, it's the mother of distraction. Okay. And, uh, Simplicity, it's the mother of execution, especially in, in trading. So we want to have simple rules that we feel comfortable with them to implement, to apply in our trading. We want to feel good when we participate in any trade. We don't want to feel connected with the outcome. And definitely, we don't want to allow ourselves to get very emotionally distracted by any uh, trading outcome. That's why when we have a checklist and we follow our checklist, then we gradually understand uh, the probabilities when we enter. We understand more ourselves, how we behave, how we act, and how we react in the market. Okay. And everything comes down to how we handle ourselves while we are in a trade. So what we say in this webinar, what we say in all the webinars, they can make sense if you do not overcomplicate them. I understand it's within ourselves, within our human nature to, to want to complicate the things because it doesn't... It does make us feel special. It gives us more significance as person and all this stuff. I totally understand it. I went through that. And I know that most of you, you going through or you went through that. Just make sure, try to keep everything simple. You don't need to overanalyzing things We because then it comes the overanalysis, over paralysis. We don't take too many uh signals when I have to have to trade them. We start questioning our abilities as traders at some point. So better understand the basic fundamental stuff the way we say it. it's totally fine. And implement slowly, slowly. And I'm sure you're going to have a very good trading results. Can we use CRB index for Gold, sorry, John, CRB index. Not familiar with that, mate. Okay, guys. Uh, that's all from me for today. It was an honor and pleasure to spend this time with you. And uh, really, I would like to thank you so much for your valuable time. I hope you gain a lot of value out of this. And... Uh, if you have any questions, please make sure uh, leave them as comment on the on the uh, comment section. It will appear when I close the webinar. 
also make sure you subscribe on the videos on on the channel on youtube and you like the video so uh we understand that the value we bring out is uh is good for you in the in the webinars and if you have the time to participate and to join me on the live trading morning sessions that will be brilliant we do a lot of analysis and you can uh, i also help you to be more consistent with your trading because we repeat the same thing again again and again okay for any inquiries please make sure you leave it as comment when we close this uh, webinar again i wish you good luck with your trading and looking forward to see you tomorrow or in the morning live trading webinars thank you so much and uh, bye for now